This week's parsha, Parshas Lech Lecha, it's also a parsha that I have a personal connection with, being that my name is Avram, and that I left the land of my birthplace as well in order to come and live here. We see in this week's parsha a message that resonates for each of us that I wanted to look into more. It says in the Pasuk, Vayim Hashem al Avram, Lech Lecha me'artzcha u'memeladcha u'mevesavicha la'aras asher eko. So Lech Lecha, go for you, or it can also mean go to you, and really it means both, as we're going to see. Me'artzcha u'memeladcha u'mevesavicha. From your land, from your birthplace, and from your father's house, which are in ascending order of the influence that they have on our minds. And they also represent, to an extent, our comfort zones and our fears. The Oretz Asher Eko, to a land that I will show you. Hashem here is telling Avram, go on a personal journey, of a journey to you. And it involves leaving these comforts, it involves leaving these comfort zones and sort of dealing with these fears. The Oretz Asher Eko, to a land that I will show you. Why doesn't Hashem just say, Oretz Kanan? Why say, to a land that I will show you? The answer is that really, Hashem can't tell him where he, who he's going to be at that process, at that journey. It's, it's a process, and through that, Avram can't see who he's going to be at the end. But Hashem is saying, go to a land, to a place, to a version of you, that I will show you. I will guide you. And Hashem tells us as well, this is something that resonates nowadays, that Hashem is telling us, Leich, Leich Lecha, go, for your sake, to you. Not for my sake. Hashem doesn't say, not for his, Hashem says, not for his sake. For your sake. This is for your benefit. And although it may sound selfish, it is. But to an extent that's necessary, as when it comes to the journey of self-development and this process of Lech Lecha, it's something which no one can do for you. It's, so being selfish is necessary. Nobody is going to be you for you. Only you can do that. As we see as well by Imperki Ovis, Perik Aleph Mishnah Yudalad, Im Eina Nili, Mili. If I am not for me, then who is going to be for me? Nobody else is going to be me for me, and nobody is going to rescue me, nobody is going to save me, nobody is going to deal with issues for us. Only we can deal with our issues, nobody is going to deal with it for us. And there's no, there's no knight in shining armor in this story. First, we must fill ourselves up. And then as we fill ourselves up and expand, we are also able to encompass others. As we see in the Pasuk, Love your friend like yourself. But we see there that the focus is on you. In order to love another first, you must love yourself. Truly love yourself. Part of truly loving yourself is gvura, boundaries having personal boundaries, and it was this that was one of Avram's tests on his journey of Lech Lecha. By getting rid of Yishmael, as at that point Yishmael had done nothing wrong, and yet Gavura required him to be removed from the household, as Avram's nature was pure chesed. But pure chesed is blinded to the future consequences and struggles. It only sees the struggle now, only to be done now, but it doesn't take into account the longer term. And it is for this that Avram Avinu had to learn the balance. And he had to do chesed with himself. He had to learn how to do chesed for himself. Both for his sake, his family's sake, and for our sake, for the future of Kali Yisrael, In order to imbue us with this kach, with this strength. It's this, it's this struggle that was his test in, when it came to Yishmael. As Gavura seems quite harsh on the outset. It can seem quite harsh in the moment, but it's necessary in the long run, and it's beneficial in the long run. But it does seem harsh in the moment, or at least it can seem harsh in the moment. And Avram needed to balance his pure chesed with this Kavura, and to go on this journey of self to the true deep him that we know nowadays as Avram Avinu. Had Avram not passed these tests, and had he not left his comfort zones and instead decided that he wanted to stay where he was with a better the devil you know kind of attitude, then I don't believe he would have been Avram Avinu as we know him today. We see this also actually in Perkyovas. Perik Hay, 
Mishnah Dalad says that Avram was tested and Ba'amad Bukhulam. He stood up to all of them, he succeeded in all the tests. Kadela Haidiya, in order to let us know, Kama Khibosoi Shal Avram Avinu. So the way this is this is often mistranslated to mean that Avram that how did he pass his test? In order to show Avram's love. That he passed his test in order to show his love of Hashem. But that's not what the Mishnah says. It says in order to show Khibasoi Shal Avram Avinu. Show his love of Avram Avinu. So it's not Avram Avinu's love on something, it's something's love of Avram Avinu. And who was this Chibasa? Who was his love? It's Hashem. That Avram passed his test and he was Ahmad Bakulam in order to let us know Hashem's love for him. And so too with us. Hashem never gives us a test that we can't overcome, that we can't beat. And Hashem will help us as well. Although sometimes helping us means allowing us, standing back to let us, so to speak, help ourselves, to develop ourselves. But we have to take the first steps and we have to start. The call of Lech Lecha is something that echoes out to each of us nowadays. And it's lovingly placed as well, just after Yom and Arom, where we have a fresh start, we have a clean start. And Hashem says, everything's fresh, what's done is done, what's past is gone. Begin again now. Start fresh and go to you. Start that journey and I will help you and I will guide you. And it's with this as well that I wish to all of us that we should be able to go on that journey to the true deep self and to bring that light into Klaliswa and into the world. And I wanted to thank all of you for having me, to wish you all a lovely Shabbos.